Hello everybody, this is Professor Lego and this is the Futurist Corner on the Step Next channel. And today, what we have here is the Google Home. This is an early Christmas gift for me. Is this just another cool gadget that I'm going to have fun with? Or is this going to be the future of how we communicate with computers? Let's think about that. So I'm going to open this up. I opened it up and got it out, but I haven't plugged it in yet. So let's take a look. So, ooh, this is a cool little tab. Well, that's a cool unboxing experience. Look at that. So there is the Google Home. And let's see what else is in here. So this little flip up, I like that little, the little way they're doing that. And then this bottom part comes out. And then, let's see, another tab quick instructions and then the power cable. So let's plug this in and see what we got here. So what we have here is we got the Google Home and we got a little plug in we're gonna put in the bottom here. Let's see, is there anything down here that we need? No. Then, a little light, lights are blinking. That's kind of cool. So it says, plug it in, <clears throat> plug in the power. So it says, ooh, look at that. A little rainbow going on here. A little rainbow of uh, little lights. Ooh, hello. Are we talking? Welcome to Google Home. Hello. Download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, so there's the Google Home. I'm gonna log into my account. Step next training at Gmail. And you can email me there. Google Home found. Would you like to set up this device? Yes, next. So now I'm entering my address. I'm sure that's for knowing what the weather and everything else is gonna be. Confirm address. Add music services. So let's do Google Play. Hey Google, what time is it? 3.09. That just worked. Hey Google, what's the weather? It's 66 and cloudy. Today, there will be showers with a forecasted high of 66 and a low of 44. That is amazing. Google, hey Google, what is the number for pi? On the website scientificamerican.com, they say, regardless of the circle's size, this ratio will always equal pi. In decimal form, the value of pi is approximately 3.14. But pi is an irrational number, meaning that its decimal <laughs> form neither ends nor becomes repetitive. To only 18 decimal places, pi is 3.14159265358979323838. That's amazing! Hey Google, what's the distance to the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. <laughs> hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow, it'll be cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 33. Perfect. Hey Google, do I need to wear a jacket outside? No, it's not expected to be cold today. <laughs> Expect a high of 66 and a low of 44. Hey Google, play music rap 1990s. Sure, here's a Google Play Music radio mix based on the the 1990s mega rap list DJ Anonymous playlist. Take it from the top. Chippy, it's all it be Sing it, Daddy. So, I can turn up the volume. Ooh, I can feel the bass. This is quite nice. So I can turn up the volume or I can turn down the volume. That's loud. <laughs> That's really loud. Excuse me as I kiss the sky. Hey Google, turn down the music. Here, there we go. Hey Google, stop music. Hey Google, play pop music. All right. Here's a Google Play music station called Uplifting Pop Motivation. Ow! Hey 
Hey Google, set timer for 15 minutes. Sure, 15 minutes, and we're starting now. That's me, standing in the mirror. Put that acid thing hey Google, in the tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. How do you get over a fear of elevators? Just take some steps to avoid them. <laughs> Hey Google, what what sound does a whale make? Here's what a whale sounds like. <laughs> hey hey Google, what does a monkey sound like? A monkey sounds like this. <laughs> hey Google, what's the best? Sushi in town. I found a few top rated places within 12.1 miles. The first one is Joy of Tokyo at 25 30. The second one is K Town at The third one is Genji Sushi Express. Hey Google, call wife. Sure, since this is your first call with Google Home, here's a couple of notes. First, emergency numbers are not available. At the end of your call, tell me to hang up. Who is your wife? Hey Google, what is the X-Wing? According to Star Wars Databank, the X-Wing is a versatile Rebel Alliance starfighter that balances speed with firepower. Hey Google, roll a magic eight ball. Sure, I don't have one of those, but I do have a crystal ball. There we go. If you can, get closer. Closer? Yes. Yes. Quiet your mind and focus. The crystal ball shall tell your fate. Now ask a yes or no question. Will I have a million dollars? The all-knowing crystal ball says... <laughs> Probably. Probably. I like that. I don't know if I trust this thing. The other day it said that VHS is making a comeback. <laughs> Do you dare ask the crystal ball another question? Okay, Google, make me a sandwich. I must warn you, it's not a reversible spell, but I'll try. You're a sandwich. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Google, play some jazz music. Okay, here's a Google Play music station called Mellow Jazz. Hey, Google. What are the three laws of robotics? A robot may not injure a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And free ice cream on Wednesdays. <laughs> hey Google, where's Waldo? Have you checked the barber pole factory? Or the Peppermint Stick Convention? Mm. Or Warsaw on Flag Day? Hey Google, what's better, Star Trek or Star Wars? On the website businessinsider.com, they say, even counting the newer Star Wars installments, the franchise is still better than the Star Trek universe. <laughs> she's a, she's a uh, Star Wars fan, as you can tell. Hey Google, will Firefly the TV show ever come back? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Hey Google, what was the best sci-fi television show? TV programs frequently mentioned on the web include Doctor Who, The X-Files, The Twilight Zone, and others. Uh, hey Google, what's the brown coat? On the website firefly.wikia.com, they say, Browncoats were soldiers who fought for the independent planets, who lost to the Union of Allied Planets in the Unification War. They were named after the simple brown leather trench coats they wore as uniforms. They also wore red scarves around their necks. Hey Google, what's the best sci-fi spaceship? Here's a summary from the website futurism.media. All are among the greatest spaceships in all of sci-fi. TARDIS from Doctor Who, O'Neill-class mm -hmm. ship from Stargate, USS Enterprise from Star Trek, and more. Ah, what's the more? <laughs>
Hey Google, did you fart? Sure, I'll take the fall for this one. And I will fart again to clear all doubts. <laughs> ah. Hey Google, do you like Star Trek or Star Wars? The Millennium Falcon, flown by Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Ah. <laughs> So let's go and look at all the features here. So it's a way to communicate with a computer. The computer in this case is my phone, it's Google, it's the internet. There's a lot of opportunity there. If I used it for answer phone call, answer call. And that craziness was because I set an alarm with Google 15 minutes ago and now it's ringing. So that's kind of weird. So let's talk about how this can be useful. Think of all the things that you use your phone for. The weather is my top app on my phone. The traffic congestion report is probably the second most valuable thing I have on my phone. I have a bunch of games on my phone. It's not going to play games, so it's not going to replace my phone but I can make phone calls. I can find out what the traffic is. I can find out what the weather is. I can find out whether or not I should wear a jacket today. These are important things that I need to know when I'm getting up in the morning. So I can have this in the living room and I can have myself or my wife use this to find out what we're gonna do that day. Now that's an important, not, that's an important thing and I think that's valuable. It's valuable for enough for me to ask for this for, for Christmas. Now, do I see myself getting rid of my phone? The answer is no. Do I see myself getting rid of a laptop so I can actually type in numbers? The answer is no. But all those things, this is a companion to those things. We'll see how it progresses over time. Maybe when we're all in VR and we have VR goggles, we can use this to go to the next game or go to the next world. And so we can use this to call out functions that we need and we can't do because we're in a VR world. That is a cool idea. But is this gonna change the way we interact with our devices? Probably not. I think it's more of a companion to those devices and a very cool companion that is this Google Home. Do I recommend people buying it? Yes. And if you wanna buy it, look at the link down below Hopefully I have an affiliate link there that you can go to Amazon and click and buy this object. Overall, I think this is a really cool idea. I think it's well implemented. I think it will progress into the future and have more functionality. And the more we get used to it, I think it's more on the human side not knowing how to interact with it than it not knowing how to interact with humans. But as we both progress, the interaction between us and these type of devices is gonna grow. We're gonna know how to utilize it more and it's gonna know how to detect what we're trying to ask, all right? So as we progress, these things are gonna get smarter and it is gonna become more valuable. Right now, it's more of a trinket and nice cool gadget, but more and more this is gonna become a part of our infrastructure of how we communicate with computers. With that being said, I highly recommend it and I think you should pick one up as well. Whether or not it's this or Alexa, whatever flavor you want, go out and pick one up, give it a try. They're fun to have around the house. If you don't, if you see people not using it, ask them to give it to you. Maybe you can get more functionality out of it than your friend can. Well, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below and please leave a comment if you think this is going to be the new way that we communicate with computers or not. I want to see all your comments down below. Leave them right down below and I really appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. So thanks everybody and bye bye. Call wife. Sorry, I'm having trouble. Mm. You might want to try again later.